Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me for this week's reading. I'm working with the After Tarot. So as always, these are general readings, so these readings may or may not resonate with you. So let's get right into it. Let's see what cards and messages are coming through for this week. So I've pulled out four cards, and I'm just going to show you the cards. You have the Four of Cups, the Two of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and the Judgment card, which is a major arcana. And I'll get to it right in a second. Just let me see what's coming through with these cards. You are you are in a place of discontent okay you're you're not happy with certain situations in your life you're doing a lot of self-reflection and it's like whatever you feel the choices that you have made were not the greatest or you feel uh you missed out on something or you feel like you know there could have been uh something better that's what i'm feeling with this card For some, I'm also feeling like your blessings are right in front of you and you need to notice it. You need to let go of things that, you know, the attitude that I'm getting with this card is more like should have, could have, would have. Like you're focusing on all the things that you missed out, all the things that, all the opportunities that you feel that I should have done this, I could have done that. That's where it is and I feel that's where the this energy is stuck. That's where you're feeling stuck is the choices that you have made. You feel like you could have made better choices and you're just discontent in your present moment because of this energy. Let's move forward with the cards and then I'll do the overview of it. So we have the two of swords here. This card is saying like you're you're in a stalemate position, okay? You're at a crossroads, there's a decision to be made, but as you can see, she has the blindfold on. So there could be two people fighting for you, <laughs> for your attention, for some of you. Yeah, that could also be the case. Let me see what else I'm getting with this. Yeah, I feel with this card i feel there are decisions to be made and you're just finding it extremely difficult to make the right choice uh you may find that you know it's just it's putting you at this uh standstill position because it's like nothing is moving forward and even with this card i'm feeling the same thing it's like you feel stuck you feel nothing's moving forward nothing is going your way it's because you're just you're just at this point where you don't know which choice would be the right choice. Even if there are two paths, like you don't know which option is the best option for you. And if that is, if the path you're choosing is even the right option, that's the kind of feeling I'm getting. And it keeps you completely stuck. For some of you, this has to do with your past. And for some of you, this has to do with your current situation where there's a decision to be made and you're just, just finding it hard to make that decision. And then we have this, um eight of cups so you know you're moving forward this is all about moving forward but i feel with this card like as you can see she's looking at this empty cup it's like you know you're moving forward but you've not really emotionally or energetically moved forward that's the kind of feeling like there's a lot of regrets and that's what i picked with this card as well a lot of regrets and you're just looking at your empty cups it's like you know if you look at these two cards it's the same thing it's you're just reflecting on your losses you're reflecting on the options or the choices that you didn't look into at that time you're having a hard time letting those go you're having a hard time moving forward and even if you're moving forward it's like there's a sense of half-heartedness there's a sense of the things that I have left behind, the things that I could have done, the things that I should have done. There's a lot of should have, could have that's coming through in this reading. 
a lot of regrets a lot of uh, you know maybe even beating yourself up with the two of swords here i feel like you're just you're just stuck in your mind she's blindfolded and she just feels at this crossroads you know and there's the moon in all these cards so i just feel like you know your emotions yeah there's water in each and every card so i just feel like your emotions are on an, at an all-time high you're trying to figure out where you stand you're trying to figure out which path is the right path you're unhappy with your choices you may have moved on but energetically you're still stuck on things that didn't work for you you know you're still focusing on that you're still trying to find your peace you're still not sure which which direction to go to and lastly we have the judgment now the judgment as we can see in this card all these skeletons sorry about the glare guys but we can see these uh, skeletons rising from the grave so it's like they're coming out of their coffins so this is like <laughs> you know like they say skeletons out of the closet so this is like you're really focusing on all those parts of you that you know you don't want to see sometimes there are parts of us that you know we don't want to face those shadows or or those aspects or those choices and we have this big angel with the trumpet you know that's like a judgment call has been made a decision has been made whatever the situation is a decision has been made and it's like if you're dealing with the other person or this is about two parties concerned especially with this card i feel like this is two parties it's like you know you both are seeing the truth of the situation you both are going through this judgment situation this judgment is all about facing uh, our our choices you know and our decisions and how they reflect our current situation and that's what i'm feeling with these cards is you know reflecting on the past and seeing how certain situations have panned out the way they have panned out because of certain choices and uh for some this judgment is also about going back to the past and reviewing the past and not only reviewing the past this is like you know correcting the past like if there are certain situations that you feel were uh that you did wrong or someone did wrong it's like you know you want to correct that that's what i'm feeling also with this with this particular reading there's a lot of uh you know there's a lot of loss of emotions like in this card you can see how he's emptying out his cup in this card too there are cups like on the ground so it's like you know a lot of emotions that you are dealing with you're trying to figure out but you know there's a lot of I, I just feel a lot of things coming to surface like as you can see from this grave also all these you know all these individuals are coming out okay uh, for some this is also judgment can also signify second chances renewals forgiveness healing of the past so all these things like just take it as it applies to your situation but definitely there's a sense of from this entire set of cards what i'm sensing is there's a sense of self-reflection there's a sense of understanding why you made the choices that you made and how your choices your past choices are impacting your current situation and what is that you can change in your current situation to make better choices okay so that's the overall theme that i'm getting and for some yeah you are at a crossroads there are there are some decisions that you have to make and they're not the easiest like from what i'm seeing whatever this decision is it's not the easiest it's bringing up a lot of things to surface and there's a lot of emotions to heal okay i hope this made sense guys these are the cards that came out for this week I hope you enjoyed this reading. I will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching.